We're not only gonna go over different styles that you can use to make your horizontal videos vertical videos, but I'm also gonna go through some tips and tricks to dramatically speed up your workflow that you might not know. The first style I call the four stack. First, create a new vertical project. So go to File, New Project, or press the shortcut Command N. Switch your video format to vertical and change your resolution to 1080 by 1920, which is HD. At the time of this recording, Instagram Reels and TikTok don't really accept 4K videos. If you do upload 4K, the video will be downsized and look like trash. Way worse than if you exported out an HD video. So hit OK, and let's say you add in your four clips. Since this is the four stack, stack them on top of each other. Now, it's not as simple as just moving the position of the clips to fill the vertical frame. I mean, you could, but here is the method I think looks best. First, know how you want to position the clips in the vertical video. They basically should go in order from top to bottom on the timeline. So the video on top of the stack should be at the top of the clips on the timeline. The second clip in the stack should be the second clip from the top on the timeline, and so on. Then go to your effects browser, search for the free effect Crop and Feather, and double click to apply. Don't pay attention to what you're seeing bordering this shot. Those are just the clips behind it. Just to make it less confusing, I'll select the clips below and hit V to disable them. Then head to your inspector window, swing the width to the far right, because we want the video to fill up the frame that way, but change the height to 83. Then press Command C on that clip to copy the effects. Select the clips below and hit Command Shift V to bring up your paste attributes window. Just have the crop and feather selected and apply to the other clips. I'll press V to unmute. And with that out of the way, all you have to do is start putting them into position. Hit the transform button or press the shortcut Shift T. Hold Shift and drag up. We hold shift because then it lets us move our shot in a perfectly straight line up and down. If not, it'll be a nightmare for you to try and line up this evenly. Then adjust the other clips. Now let me pause to mention that the reason I like this crop and feather method is because I like this very tiny line that appears in between the clips. I like the aesthetic of it. I do understand it may be hard to see when setting up though, so what I'd suggest you do is open your preferences by pressing command and comma, Go to Playback and switch the player background to white. When you export, there will still be black behind the clips, but this white is just to make it easier to see when you're positioning them. So finish moving them into place, and now you have this really cool stacked look. And if you're thinking, Dylan, bro, it's gonna take that long every time? Nope. Just click the top clip, hit Save Effects Preset, and only have the transform parameters and crop and feather selected. Call it Vertical Stack 1. Then do the same for the others, except change the name. Then the next time you're creating a vertical video and you want to do this stacking style, just go to your effects browser, search Vertical Stack, and quickly apply those to your clips to stack and crop them for you automatically. So once you set this up, it'll be a piece of cake for you the other times. Up next, you have what I'll call the RR style, or right rotation. This is becoming more popular, it seems, and I'm so happy that it is. What I would suggest doing is fully editing a video in a horizontal project, select the entire timeline by pressing Command A, then right click, and create a compound clip, or press the shortcut Command G. Then right click the project you're in and hit Duplicate As. Switch your video format to vertical, make the resolution HD. Click the transform button or hit shift T. And the big key here is to hold down shift when you rotate this, so we snap to that vertical layout. If you don't hold shift when you move the rotation, you'll have a hard time making it perfectly vertical. And then just expand it out till it fills the viewport. And you can turn off the transform tool by pressing the A key. And to make your life easier, every time you make a vertical video again, hit save effects preset, but only save the transform parameters this time. Label it right rotation, and then you can just apply that preset to your clip or clips whenever you want this format. 
The next method I call the BB style, or blurred background. So first, download the free plugin M Vertical from Motion VFX, which I'll put a link in the description for. Drag it over your horizontal video in your vertical project, and you're pretty much done. You could go in and tweak the settings if you want the background to not be the same thing as what they're seeing in the video. So you could make it a mirror effect to kind of switch it up or switch to copy. Then you could go in and make adjustments to some of these parameters to find a look that you like. It'll allow people to see your horizontal video without having to turn their phone, and it'll make it unique because it's not just a plain background. It fills the frame. You could also put text in these areas if you wanted as well. The last option is your standard horizontal to vertical formatting, but here are some useful tricks to help you out. If you already have a project that you've made in a standard 16 by 9 horizontal aspect ratio, just right click the project, hit duplicate as, change the format to vertical, switch to HD, and check this button right here that says Smart Conform. Final Cut is going to take your video and to the best of its ability, put the subject of your shot in the middle of the vertical frame. It doesn't always get it right though, like in this clip as an example. So you might need to press the transform button with the clip selected, hold shift and drag to the left or right to fit your subject in the frame. And once again, we hold shift because it'll prevent you from going in different directions. So in this instance, I can't go up or down, only left or right. And then hit A to stop using the transform tool. Let's say you don't have the project made yet, but you know you wanna use these horizontal clips in a vertical video. Select your clips in your library, Make sure your inspector window is open and change the spatial conform to fill. Now, if you drag the clips to your vertical timeline, they'll automatically fill the frame. No need to scale up or anything. And then you can go in and use the position parameters here to move the clip to fit the frame how you'd like. Or you can use the transform tool like we've been doing. Doing this spatial conform method in the library is nice because if you throw down those clips on a horizontal timeline again, you'll be fine. You won't have any weird scaling in or anything. If your horizontal clips are already edited and ready to go on the vertical timeline, you could just select your clips, go to modify, and hit smart conform. This is that same feature that we went over with the duplicating the horizontal project, but this is for when you have your horizontal video already in a vertical project, and you'd like to use that smart conform feature to have Final Cut try and fill the frame correctly for you. And by the way, if you want to quickly select all of your clips so you don't have to manually go through and click each one, go to your index, type in the beginning few numbers or letters of your clips, which all usually start with the same numbers or letters, then hit modify and smart conform. If this video helped you out in any sort of way, do me a huge solid and ever so delicately press the like button. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.